A lever action 357 Rossi 92. My old knife, tomahawk. Nice little display there, right? So move this aside. Bring over my new purchase. Chambered in 357 38 Uberti Cattleman. Saved up for months. I had it on layaway. Now I have big hands, XL size gloved hands, so gives you some perspective. Beautiful gun, took it out shooting yesterday. I'll show you some video in a moment. We were shooting at about nine to 10 yards. It's a beautiful gun, hefty, hefty gun. And um, just really, really nice piece, heirloom quality. Really happy with this. Like I and said, I was finding that after I fired this for a while, um, some of the 38 shells would just fall out on their own. The 357s wouldn't. But um, I just thought that was interesting. Not because shooting in the video, my buddy is, um, because I'm doing the videotaping, but uh, found that we were about 9, 10 yards away from the target, and it was still pretty accurate. Um, iron sights, it's definitely taking some getting used to. On the first shot! <laughs> oh my gosh! bullseye finally my rationale for getting this chambered um i wanted something chambered the same as the rifle uh for obvious purposes but also the i wanted something as compact as possible in case i ever wanted to conceal carry um it's three and a half inch barrel the bird's head grip allows it to be easily concealed under a shirt and the uh, bird's head grip won't get caught on anything um, not that I would, it's not very pragmatic, but I might use it, uh, in a wood, as a woods gun or a trail gun, um, at some point. Um, and having that option is nice. I'm not a big fan of open carry. It would be a, a concealed carry, um, unless I was on a, my, you know, private property or something like that, then I would probably do open carry. But, um, otherwise it's nice to have the option. You could put it as a concealed carry. But again, um, in today's day and age, I would carry, um, you know, my uh, nine millimeter um, rather than something like this. But